Well, it's in the bag. You have someone here to show off for. My daughters are here? You kidding? Ellie's wearing makeup. Well, I don't approve of that. You understand she's 27, right? I don't approve of that either. Remember the tie Josh had to give me at the last minute? Yeah, I heard that happen. So do you think there's any point in still having the debate? There was a lot of juice in that tie. It was like in the last seconds, just the energy getting me out on stage. Well, tough. Sir. Yeah, I gotta go. We'll do mushy later. So, for now, I just gotta say I love you so much that my head's gonna fly off. But more importantly, game on, boyfriend. Let's go. Okay. By the way, I feel bad. I don't think I've done enough to help you prepare for this debate. Why are you telling me this now? Just cause. Oh my God, you're insane. Are you? You're insane! Charlie! Thanks, please. Josh, you need your top. What the hell? Take it off. What happened? Well, I Sir, to cut it off with scissors. Folks, can I get you to the Don't stage? We have that kind of time. 15 Josh. seconds. We'll get it. No one sent camera tests on this. All right, let's run some. Sir. Right here! No, no, no! Ladies and gentlemen, the president of Hampshire and Governor Could you keep it down? The rules for tonight's debate are as follows. A candidate will be asked a question by one of the panelists and he will have 90 seconds to respond. His opponent will then have 60 seconds with which to ask a question and get an answer, though it must be limited to the same topic. There will be two minutes for closing statements at the end. By virtue of a coin toss, Governor Ritchie, the first question is for you. Governor Ritchie, good evening. Good evening. Perhaps the biggest philosophical difference between you and the president is over the role of the federal government itself and whether national problems really have national solutions. Can you explain your view? Well, first, let me say good evening and thank you. It's a privilege to be here. My view of this is simple. We don't need a federal department of education telling us our children have to learn Esperanto, they have to learn Eskimo poetry. Eskimo poetry. Let the states decide. Let the communities decide on health care, on education, on lower taxes, not higher taxes. Now, he's going to throw a big word at you, unfunded mandate. He's going to say, if Washington lets the states do it, it's an unfunded mandate. But what he doesn't like is the federal government losing power. Hi. But I call it the ingenuity of the American people. President Bartlett, you have 60 seconds for a question and an answer. Well, first of all, let's clear up a couple of things. Unfunded mandate is two words, not one big word. There are times when we're 50 states and there are times when we're one country and have national needs. And the way I know this is that Florida didn't fight Germany in World War II or establish civil rights. You think states should do the governing wall to wall. That's a perfectly valid opinion. But your state of Florida got $12.6 billion in federal money last year from Nebraskans and Virginians and New Yorkers and Alaskans with their Eskimo poetry. 12.6 out of a state budget of 50 billion. I'm supposed to be using this time for a question, so here it is. Can we have it back, please? Game on! Oh, my God. Try some astronauts. Anybody want spin? 